What's up everyone? This episode of Roscoe's Reef, we're going to be documenting some um, growth that's happened within the last few days. As much as I complain about these mushrooms, the last two days they've really grown quite large. And by large, if you can see this one over here, the size of this one, when you measure it across, is almost five inches across. And that's pretty much the way the growth has gone with these. Uh, during the afternoon when the whites come on, in the last few days, they've grown huge. Almost to the point where they're coming out and touching the candy cane, which has had growth on its own. Along with that, I've noticed the Hollywood Stunner used to have three fingers growing up out of the center. That third finger that may look like it's sticking up is actually laying down flat. And I can't really get a good angle of it, but it's starting to curve over and plate a little bit. Along with that, the purple digi is starting to stretch out more and more. And again, even though you can't get a, a view of it on this, the polyp extension on the red digi is getting more and more, even to the point where this piece here, the base, it's starting to, the spot right there in the center, in the lower center, is starting to come up off the base and form another finger. So something about the tank, it could also be the fact that I switched to Red Sea uh, Coral Pro. The corals are responding to it really well. I mean, this torch coral is extending really, really high during the afternoon and evening. And the feeder tentacles are stretching out more and more to the point where I'm worried about that guy actually being stung by it. But I am having the problem with him. And this one is growing fine in close proximity to this one, to the torch. The frog spawn is really doing well, as is the hammer. This Duncan right here is getting more and more extension on the heads. So I think I'm almost turning a corner on that. The purple candy canes in the back are doing well, as usual. The Palizoa garden, the utter chaos has formed another head right above that end one. These orange skirted zoas are starting to stretch out into the purple ones. And these purple and red zoas are also starting to fill out more and more. My eight cans, you can see the smaller heads that were in the back are starting to form and get bigger. So I'm really excited about the progress. Now, the, again, the only thing that I've done recently is switch salts. So there may be something to the fact that uh, switching from Reef Crystals to uh, Red Sea Pro has started to spur a growth in, uh, in my tank. There is one bad thing that I'm looking at now, and that is this. The mushrooms from the other side, as best as I can isolate them, have spread over to this side of the tank. And I don't quite know looking at it now with you what that is that green piece but I guess I'll have to see as it grows out what it could be <coughs> so as far as the tank it's doing really well all the my levels are a little elevated since switching but I feel that I need to balance out my calc washer 
um, since switching it's a higher level of calcium alkalinity and magnesium and the pH is a little higher on the on the coral pro so it's just a matter of figuring it out which way to adjust my calc so this is a short update um, I may have something over the weekend uh, to bring to you a little update of sorts so stay tuned um, like comment and subscribe as usual and as always this is Scott and I'll talk to you again later at the reef tank